But I'm telling you, you been, oh yeah, this is about you. You about self. You about to run out of fuel. You can't possibly go 30, 40 years on self. Self wasn't designed to go 30 years. For the wages of sin is death. death. Self always ends in death. We didn't start with prayer because we're unique and special. We didn't start praising God because we're unique and special. We did that because we know God's sitting up high and God is like, listen to me very closely, son. I, you gonna win the Nobel Prize, you gonna get all of that, why? Because I know when you get it, you gonna brag about me, so I'm gonna make sure you get it. Oh, y'all didn't hear what I just said. I don't know who made the decision for the New York Times best said, I don't know who in LA decided that. USA that I don't know who made that decision, but I know whoever made the decision the night before, just like his wife told him, whatever you do, don't touch Jesus. Take your hands off of me. You let them kill him. God is always going to have somebody in the room that's going to speak the right stuff. You, uh, you think you got to work for it. You don't got to work for it. You just got to let him know if you give it to me, I'm giving it straight back to you. And if you know he going to give it straight back, he going to give it to you. His wife woke up like, come here, sweetheart. You done lost your mind. You done let Caesar convince you to kill this man. I promise you, if you kill this man, that, that blood going to be on us. Not in the church, it wasn't no church. Wasn't nobody listening to no gospel music. He was going through his regular day and, the, and, and God and his angels spoke specifically to his wife. She said, you're a grown man. I can't tell you what to do, but if it was me, I can tell you what the angels told me, don't touch it. I'm telling you right now, I don't know who is the New York Times, but God got in somebody's ear. We, we're number nine, so what does that mean? Somebody hit one, somebody hit two, somebody hit three, somebody hit four, somebody hit five. We won on the list. And somebody was like, oh, have you considered Eric Thomas? Have you considered it? I've seen this list that you have here. It seems like it's missing. Y'all going fast. Y'all getting the 10. Hold up. Y'all about to get the 10 real quick. There's a name missing. What's the name? Well, God told me last night that we should consider Eric Thomas. The hip hop preacher. The what? The, hip, the hippity hop. If we put the hippity hop on the list, it needs to be on the list. Are you hearing what I'm trying to tell y'all? Like we got to the lowest number you can get and still, come on y'all. Come on, 120? Come on, 120? So we're going to focus on one thing that we've already gone through that we can help other people out. I see where I'm going? Come on, come on, come on, come on. A lot of y'all, I need to make more money, so I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna go over here, and I need this person to love me, so I'm gonna be this, and I'm gonna be that, and I want this to happen, so I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do that. Stay focused, stay right, stay, 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 stay right. I wanna make a lot of money, so I'm gonna stay right here. I wanna make a lot of money, so I'm gonna stay right here in my kid. I want my spouse to love me, so I'm gonna be predictable. I'm gonna stay right here. Come on, y'all. So Didi was like, you know, Eric is a very high flight attendant, so he's very emotional. I'm not. But Didi was like, yo, I found myself when he fussing and cussing, and I don't literally cuss, but fussing. She was like, I found myself fussing too, and cussing. And she was like, yo, I had to stop because that's not even who I am. So Didi was like, there's no way God is gonna be able to bless our marriage and rid it of arguing if I join in with something that is not even my gift. That's his gift, to get loud and being passionate. I don't even do that. So watch this, y'all. My wife got laser focused and stopped fussing and cussing and arguing. She got laser focused. She prayed and God gave her the answer. So every time I'm like, ah, 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 ah. She's like, oh, oh. she don't even say nothing. She just get her phone and start recording. Like, oh, no, no, keep going. I'm about to put this online. Oh, no, no, I, they need to see this Eric Thomas right here. We're going to put this up on the next podcast. Oh, I promise you, every time she hit that record, boy, I'm like, oh, 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 oh shorty. 
What's up? Because I know D ain't going to have no problems in the marriage. We're like, cue that up, Isaiah, right there. Eric acting a fool for me. Cue that one up. She switched the game and stopped coming over to me fussing and fussing. Because she don't even fuss. And she said, we're going to stay right here and I'm going to pray and we're just going to push record. And if you want me to get 30 seconds of it, I can get 30. You want to keep going and get a minute? We can go a minute. We can do as long as you want to do. And then we're just going to drop it on 3 a.m. Instead of your little speech, we're going to drop this one up here at 3 a.m. for the people so they can hear this one. <laughs> I promise y'all, that's the whole. When she was fussing with me, I was going, ah! When the recorder blah. I'm just being real. God gave it up. You all over here. You all over here. If you're going to get up at 4, pray, pray. If you're going to get up at 6, pray, pray. If you're going to get in your word, get in your word. It doesn't matter what everybody else is doing. Stay predictable. Stay consistent. And then God going to open up doors. Am I, am I talking to somebody? So we got the three things. We're going to go 120. And we're going to stay who we supposed to be. And we're going to stop letting things keep pulling us out of our So you're here. So figure out one of the three. Figure it out. Figure out what's that thing you've gone through that when you overcome it. You know what some of y'all are trying to do? Some of y'all are trying to be a poster child for something you haven't even overcome yet. I'm just being real. Like, the reason why people fool with me because this really what happened in my life. And I really overcame. Like, I'm, I'm really forgiven people. I ain't know that. I ain't holding nobody hostage. I really don't have no expectations for people. Not in a bad way. But I'm not going to put my expectations on you. Like, I really, I ain't on that. I'm, I'm really free. Like, I'm, 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 I'm really like, people say you wrote the book. It was so much transparency. It could have been more if the publishing company could handle it. And you ain't seen transparency yet. And why am I transparent? Because I'm not, I'm, you, I'm not a slave to you. I'm not a slave to your image of me. I'm, I'm hurt. I'm struggling. I'm human. I didn't I had the best situation my whole life. I, bruh, like this is really what happened. I don't got to fake what happened. This is really what happened. And you rock with me because you like, yo, he really is. But here's the problem I have. While you look up to the God in me, you're not mimicking the God in me. You're mimicking the God in this world. I'm just being real. I'm looking at all the stuff on social media. It's people who not coming and rocking with me because you're going somewhere because somebody showed you a Bentley. Somebody showed you a Rolls Royce. Am I saying there's anything wrong with it? Absolutely not. But if you think that's going to save your marriage, if you think that's going to help you to have a better relationship with your kids, if you think that's going to bring you self-fulfillment, then I can't force the masses to know the truth. So go over there, but you know what happened? They go over there, and as soon as they marriage, then they come to 